Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the single or double quote keys are not working properly on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So when you're attempting to use such quote markers onto your document, you may have noticed that the quote key is not working. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Search for settings, best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select time and language. And then on the right side, you want to select language and region. You want to select your language type under here, and then select the three dotted icon next to it, and select language options. On the right side, you want to scroll down underneath keyboards. Remove any keyboard except the one you're currently using, which by most people's standard, which should just be the US keyboard in most cases. You just would select the three dot icon next to the other ones and select remove. And then hopefully again, that should have resolved the problem. You may want to add an additional keyboard and then remove it and then add back the US keyboard. And then once you're done with that, see if that has resolved the problem. You may also have an issue specifically with the key on your computer. So if you have an issue with your keyboard keys, that could be a hardware related issue that you may want to take a look into. And then finally, if you really need to use the quotation markers and you don't want to go on Google and just copy and paste quotation marker text, you can close out of here and you can open up the search menu, type in on-screen keyboard, go ahead and select that, and then you can select the quotation marks from this virtual keyboard by using the mouse or if you're using a touch screen, you can actually tap it right from here. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.